Hi, it's Sherry from A Quilting Life, and I'm here today to share two brand new quilts with our Strawberry Lemonade fabrics. I'm super excited about both of these projects and can't wait to let you know all about them. They are both simple projects, perfect for beginners, confident beginners, or for anyone of any level who wants a fast and fun project. I can't wait to share with you my four square quilt in seven sizes and my getaway quilt. Let's get started. Okay, let's talk about the getaway quilt first. This is a pre-cut friendly quilt, I'm going to say, because it takes two pre-cuts uh, for the biggest ease in cutting. And so if you have one honey bun and one layer cake, you can really save yourself a lot of time. Of course, you can also make this quilt from fat quarters or your stash, but this really, really is a fast and fun way. You know, just grab one of each of these two pre-cuts and you're ready to start sewing. And the honey bun is used throughout the quilt and the layer cake is used also. Now, the pattern as shown finishes at 63 and a half inches by 63 and a half inches. I added some low volume prints to this because I wanted to have a good majority of my star blocks have the low volume backgrounds. You don't have to do that, but if you are doing that, you could actually make this quilt a little bit bigger. I could have actually added another row. It's a six by six layout the way it is, but because I added those extra fabrics, I could have done a six by seven layout. The other thing that you can do is that you don't have to use any extra background fabrics at all. You can, you would just have more of your blocks that would show up like, like this block right here, where you actually would use a medium or a dark for your background and coordinating layer cakes for the center and the star points. So I just wanted a few more of those and so I added in that extra yardage, but I just want to let you know that you could have fewer stars with that kind of a background than I had. I, I have actually had the idea to make this quilt for quite a while and when we found out that we were gonna have honey buns with this collection, I knew that it was just the perfect mix. And this pattern would be super fun in Christmas fabrics too. I'm just kind of imagining our favorite things collection, the stars and the strips, and I think it would also be really, really fun as a 4th of July quilt with red, white, and blue coloring. And I really think I'm gonna to have to make a red, white, and blue version because it would just be super, super fun with the mix of the, you know, the stars and the stripes basically. So I had custom quilting done on this one by Val Krieger and just really fun loops. And she did actually something just a little bit different in each one of the strips sets blocks. And then the star blocks were all the same with kind of a diagonal cross hatch and then just little loops in here. I went with the multi-floral for the border and then the teal dots for the binding. And I love, love, love this medium to large floral on teal for the backing. And I love how you can see the, the quilting showing up there. This is a, a fairly simple pattern and you save lots of time by using the pre-cut. So I would recommend it for a confident beginner. Okay, I'm gonna take this one off and we're gonna talk about one more quilt today. Okay, today I also want to share Foursquare with you. If you've been following me for a while, you might say, oh, this isn't a new quilt. I've, I've seen that before. And I actually have had my Foursquare quilt pattern for several years. And when our Sincerely Yours collection came out, I came out with a Foursquare too. But what I have wanted to do for the longest time is go back and redo my original Foursquare pattern in multiple sizes 
because I feel like it's just such a great stash buster and such an easy quilt to make from your stash. It is layer cake and charm square friendly, but it has just such a fun kind of unique way that you put the blocks together that makes it really easy that I have just loved, loved, loved this one. So as I started working on that, I was gonna do three sizes and then I was gonna do four. And anyway, now we have seven sizes in the new pattern. So I'm just gonna let you know what those sizes are. There is a crib size that finishes at 42 by 54. There's a lap that finishes at 56 and a half by 56 and a half. There is a large lap, which is the one that I made here, I think. <laughs> no, there's a large lap that's 70 by 70 square. I made the twin size here, 70 by 82. Then you can do a full size quilt, 82 by 94, a queen size at 94 by 106, and a king at 110 by 110. And I'm just super excited about it because all of the yardage information is in a table on the back of the pattern and we have all the layouts and everything for you. I'm just really, really happy. In fact, I have a couple baby quilts that I've been meaning to make for a while, and I'm just happy to have this all figured out so I can just sit down and get them made now. Another thing I wanna show you, and you, if you've already seen our video where we talked about the fabric, you will have seen this a little bit. And this block right here, I fussy cut from our hexagon fabric cheater print. This, this 60 inch wide fabric is part of the strawberry lemonade collection but is not included in the pre-cuts. So it's not even in the fat quarter bundle, the fat eighth bundle or layer cakes or charm packs. But it is really, really easy to fussy cut these hexagons and I had fun fussy cutting a few of them and putting them throughout this quilt. I've also used them in a few other projects that I've done like that and it's just been really fun to just add something else and as you can see I was able to you know the, he the full hexagon flower was able to show up if you if you fussy cut it carefully so just another option for when you're making this quilt the pad the all over quilting on this one was done by Marion Bott just a really fun pattern I'm going to show you the border I used and the so I used this uh, large floral in green for my outer border and we have been loving using the ginghams that are already they look like they're on the bias so that they're printed this way so you don't have to cut it on the bias had fun using that for the binding and then for the backing the same print that I used for the outer border, but with the mint aqua background. And I, this is probably one of my favorite, favorite prints from the entire collection. But anyway, these are just two of the brand new quilt patterns that I have with this collection. There are actually going to be a total of six, and I have most of them ready in the shop now in paper and PDF and just have really, really loved sewing along with this collection. Okay, so that's it for sharing the four square quilt pattern. It's new and revised with seven different sizes included and my getaway pattern. Both of these quilts are ones that you're going to want to turn to again and again, and the fabrics are with our Strawberry Lemonade collection, which is showing to shops now and which will ship in January of 2024. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, please share it with a friend, hit the like button, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much for stopping by.